everyone, it's Jasmine Mosley Beal. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I am going to let you in on a little secret. With my natural hair care journey, I have buckled down and got super serious about it. So, I dyed my hair jet black, which is easier maintenance for me. And also started to do a routine on my hair so I can see some hair growth, have healthy hair, and have my curls popping. But for the past month, I wanted to do a protective style, and the protective style I've been doing have been wigs. Yes, I have been wearing wigs as a protective style for almost a month now, and I've gone to work and everything, and I have made people just gasp when I told them, hey, it's a wig. So right now, I am wearing a half wig that is styled, and in this video, I'm going to let you know what I do to do my hair and make it look Oh, so fabulous. First, I want to give you some specs on this half wig. Right now, I'm wearing the Free Tress Appeal Girl half wig, and the color is a number one, which is jet black. This hair is synthetic hair, and I got it from the beauty supply store, and this was $23. So it's very cheap, very inexpensive, but it looks amazing. The luster on this hair is perfect. It is the same type of luster you would get if you blow dried natural hair and did a braid out. I love it. It matches my texture perfectly and it's very blendable. And this hairstyle I did was, it's like a mini little poof and I put it in like a ponytail, like half up, half down. Very Selena Quintanilla Perez right now. I love it. And it's a very easy hairstyle. I mean, I can get this done within 10 minutes. So all my hair is braided up underneath the half wig, except for the top. I left the perimeter out to do this style. And yeah, let me stop talking and show you how I style this hair. Okay, everyone, so right now my hair is looking just crazy. It is looking pretty wild because I'm going to show you how I put on my half wig. So to prep my hair, I leave about a little bit of hair in the front out. It's probably about a couple inches of hair in the front out. And in the back, it is all corn road in the back. I probably have about, let's say one, two, three, six to eight corn rows in the back. Please do not mind my struggle corn rows right now because I am not the best at corn rowing. What I did was I plaited the cornrows. I made two pigtails with the cornrows and then I put them up and bobby pinned them so it is nice and tucked away and so the half wig is not all lumpy. The half wig I'm using today is the Free Trust Full Cap Half Wig and it is in the style of Peel Girl. So here is my half wig and I really like the curls on this half wig. It's like a nice curly wavy looking braid out type of style. You'll see that there is a long comb inside the front of the half wig and also there are two combs in the back. And this is a drawstring so there's no need for me to use the drawstring to make it any tighter but if you need to make it tighter in your head there is a drawstring right here to do so. And this will also help you convert it into a ponytail if you would like to. Is I feel the combs and I make sure that I put the wig right in the center because if it's not centered your wig is not going to look good at all. So we're going to make sure it's centered and I'm going to pull it up. When I'm pulling it up towards the front I always have the comb sticking out like this at first because I want to make sure that all the teeth go into my hair sometimes when you just kind of slide it on all the teeth do not go in and your wig is not secure so we want to make sure our wig is as secure as it could possibly be I'm going to take those teeth and I'm going to slide them in to my cornrows and for that drawstring, so you might feel like a little bit of drawstring in the back, what I do is tuck it in the center space where there are no combs. So this is what the wig looks like when I just plop it on my head. Of course, I'm not done styling because of course I gotta do some extra stuff, but the color is great on it. The color matches my hair perfectly. I got this in the color one. They have in so many different colors and yeah, I like the density of the wig as well, and I also like the ends of the hair. They're not blunt. It looks like it could naturally be my hair. So what I'm going to do is continue styling this wig, and what I do is make sure all the perimeter of my hair is out, and with the wig, I take a couple 
of inches from the wig and I want to blend it in with my hair because I always do a half up half down style with my half wigs I just feel like it looks the most natural to me and what I do is get some hair and put it up so I'm going to take a brush and this is my Denman brush just to make sure I can smooth my hair you can use any brush that you would like and I'm just going to put the hair up I'm going to take a little twisty tie and put my hair on up like so this is my natural hair right here and I don't want it sticking up all over the place so what I'm going to do is take the hair take all my natural hair I want to wrap it around wrap it around that ponytail and just helps it to make it look a little more natural I'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin my hair on down all right now we got to tame these edges so with my ponytails I don't mind it having like the little bit of a bump at the top kind of like the poof a little bit I just kind of like that voluminous look but if you want it flatter you just will you know brush it down to your liking as flat as you want I'm going to take my edge control and this is the cream of nature argon oil edge control and this is in the extra hold and I really love this it's moisturizing it holds the hair and it kind of uses as my gel too because I don't like putting a ton of gel on my hair especially with a half wig on I use my hands a lot when I am putting on edge control and I'll put some like right at the top so I went around the whole perimeter of my hair and now what I'm going to do is brush that in so it's kind of looking a little bit more seamless. It doesn't look like a bunch of gunk is in your head. And at that time, I'm just going to go and kind of make little baby hair swirlies. The brush, I'm using a um, boar bristle brush. I have a small teasing one I use for my edges. If you have a toothbrush, that will work as well. So yeah, I'm just going to go back and smooth it in, make sure... I got all that gel blended in, all that edge control. I slicked and smoothed all my edges and the top of my little poof I got going on here. So, you could leave it like this if you like to. This is how I style my hair, but of course I like to manipulate my half wigs and make them look a little bit more to my liking, whether it's more volume, sometimes I like to tease it a bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is take my Denman brush and I'm gonna go through and kind of brush through the waves and this is so I can make the half wig look a little bit more natural not so style like I want it to be more of an everyday type of half wig so I'm just gonna go down take each piece and just brush it through with my Denman brush voila I am done styling this half wig and this is what I do with my half wigs and it makes it look so natural I love this as a protective style hopefully you try it out and let me know what you think I want to hear what your comments are let me know if you tried it out let me know if you went and bought the free trust appeal girl half wig I right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video bye